Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to calculate a sulfur dioxide concentration for any study area using time series chart analysis in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to calculate a sulfur dioxide concentration for any study region, first we have to import our country's boundary layer into Earth Engine. So to import our country boundary layer into Earth Engine, we defined variable called countries equals to double e dot feature collection USDOS LSIB simple 2017. So this will import our world level countries boundary layer into earth engine. So next we have to import our sentinel 5p nrti s 2 data into earth engine. So to import those data into earth engine we defined a variable called collection equals to double dot image collection copernicus s 5p nrti l 3 s 2 So this specific data will insert our sulfur dioxide concentration sulfur dioxide data set into earth engine. So in that we are going to select specifically sulfur dioxide column number density. So for that we define dot select S42 column number density and next we have to uh, define the specific timeline. So we have to select a particular timeline so in order to extract. So for that we define dot filter date 2020 January 1 2020 is it December 31st. So we have selected this specific time date for in order to visualize the the sulfur dioxide concentration of that study region. So next we have to set our default visualization parameter for our sulfur dioxide concentration. So for that we define the visualization parameter. We defined a variable called band visualization equals to with a minimum value of 0.0, .0 and to a maximum value of 0 0.005. And we set the color palette starting from black, blue, purple and up to red. So here the lowest level of lower concentration of sulfur dioxide is indicated in black color and highest concentration of the sulfur dioxide is indicated in red color. So next to display this layer uh, we defined map.add layer collection.mean function dot clip countries. So we are specifically clipping out the countries using country layer to clip our sulfur dioxide layer and we set the bandwidth here bandwidth refers to a visualization parameter and output the layer name as S5P S5P SO2 that is sulfur dioxide. So to center this layer we define map.center object latitude and longitude with a specific zoom level. So next we have to uh, next to import to visualize or to find the concentration of sulfur dioxide for any study region. So for that we define a variable called start time equals to that is from that is from 2020 January 1 and the variable end time that is 2020 December 31st. So here we define a variable called SO2 that is sulfur dioxide collection equals to double e dot image, uh, image collection Copernicus S5 NRTI L3 sulfur dioxide that is SO2 and we have to specify with a specific uh, that is study region for that for that we have to define a specific study region so let me show you that. So now we can visualize here we have selected this specific study region for Chennai so in this we have to, uh, let me show you this this is our study region so now let me uh, show you how to uh, create the study region. So to select the specific study region click this option called uh, draw a rectangle. So now uh, let me draw a rectangle over the study region to identify the, the sulfur dioxide concentration for this specific study region. So here we have created a geometry polygon with four vertices. So here we have now selected our filter bound that is geometry. So we are referring to this study region. This is our geometry polygon. So here you can able to visualize next we are filtering the specific timeline. So that is date dot filter date start time and end time start time here refers to 2020 January 1 and the end time here refers to December 31st. So in that the sulfur dioxide data we are specifically selecting S42 column number density. So in that we are in this uh, sulfur dioxide data we are selecting specifically this particular data called S42 column number density. So next we are map dot map function a return a dot set month and image dot date dot get month. And to view this data we have to use this option that is print S42 collection. So next to calculate the mean sulfur dioxide uh, sulfur dioxide concentration for each month for 2020 from January to December, we have to need to specify this variable called months equals to double e dot list sulfur dioxide collection dot aggregate array 
month dot distinct function and print the months. So next we have to define a variable called sulfur dioxide monthly concentration equals to months dot map function x and return s forty collection dot filter metadata months equal x and mean function dot set month x. So to, uh, at last we have to define a variable called sulfur dioxide final equals to double e dot image collection dot from image. So here refers to s forty monthly concentration. So it refers to this specific variable. So this specific uh, script will generate uh, will give us the the mean con mean sulfur dioxide concentration for each month for that specific uh, year, 2020. So to visualize this uh, concentration of sulfur dioxide in a time series chart, in a chart, we defined uh, a variable called chart equals to ui dot chart image dot series s for to final. So s for to final here refers to this specific variable. And geometry refers to our study region, and uh, that is this is our study region. And double a dot reducer mean and uh, in months. And uh, next we have to give some uh, options for our x and y axis. For that dot set options, title is sulfur dioxide concentration, v axis the concentration in microgram per meter square, and in uh, h axis the title is months. And to view this uh, time series chart that uh, this, uh, the sulfur dioxide concentration chart we will define print chart so now let us visualize this data so click this option called uh, run script and click run script so now let us visualize our data so you can uh, able to visualize here we have our image collection copernicus s5p and in RTI of sulfur dioxide concentration, we have a, a large number of elements around 571 elements. So here are the features, we have a lot of data here. And uh, so now let us visualize this time series chart. So you can visualize here, we have in uh, y-axis, we have the concentration in uh, microgram per meter square. So now let us visualize that. So now let us visualize the concentration of sulfur dioxide, click this option. So this is a concentration of sulfur dioxide for the specific study region, the specific study region called Chennai. So here in y-axis we can uh, visualize the concentration of sulfur dioxide in microgram per meter square and in uh, x-axis we can visualize the uh, in months. So this is 2020 uh, from January to December, starting from January to December. So here you can visualize in January the concentration of sulfur dioxide is highest around 0 0.00014 a microgram per meter square and you can observe there is a distinct drop in the sulfur dioxide concentration in in July the concentration has reached to its minimum level which is indicated here and similarly the concentration has been increased in August and it goes on up to December the concentration of sulfur dioxide has increased in this specific study region called Chennai so the highest concentration of sulfur dioxide is observed in the month of January and the lowest concentration is observed in the uh, in July. So now uh, let me get back to Earth Engine. So now you can visualize the concentration of sulfur dioxide in the 2020 year worldwide. So you can visualize here. The red indicates the highest level of sulfur dioxide concentration and the black indicates the lowest level of sulfur dioxide concentration. So now let me show you here. The color palette indicating black is of lowest sulfur dioxide concentration and red indicating of highest level of sulfur dioxide concentration. So here in uh, several part of the world you can observe the red spots indicating the higher level of sulfur dioxide concentration so you can visualize it here so and also in the in the towards the in uh, china and north and south korea you can observe so you can observe here there is a higher concentration of sulfur dioxide being absorbed and similarly in india you can observe towards the the, towards the north, uh, northeast, we can observe the concentration of sulfur dioxide is higher in these areas. And in central part of Africa, you can visualize the concentration of sulfur dioxide is higher. And towards the south of Africa, you can observe here the concentration of sulfur dioxide is higher. So uh, suppose if you want to calculate the sulfur dioxide con concentration of a specific study region. So like, uh, like this, I have drawn a polygon over the study region. And we have calculated the time series chart that is the concentration of sulfur dioxide for each of the month. So in this chart, for the for that specific study region, Chennai.
So thanks for watching. In this video, I have shown you how to calculate the sulfur dioxide concentration for any study region in microgram per meter square using Sentinel uh, 5P NRTI SO2 data. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.